What's going on everybody? I'm Jeff Carpenter with V-Flat World and today I'm in my studio with Anna and we are shooting some clean, crisp, smiley headshots. But one thing that makes these a little bit different is I've got a light behind me kind of casting a shadow on the background just to give it a little bit of depth so it's not just a stark white headshot. For this shoot today, we've got a three light setup. My first light, my key light, is this uh, three foot octa here. It's up angled down on the border of Rembrandt and loop light. And then on my background, which is creating that, that pattern almost on the background, uh, I've just got a reflector cone on there just so it, I don't have light hitting her directly. And what that's doing is it's taking kind of the side from the V-flat and it's creating a shadow down, uh, kind of diagonally down, which just gives us a nice dynamic look on that background. So it's not just a, just a plain white. Uh, and then I added this second V-flat and just a, another strobe on the other side of it, bounced into it, bouncing up. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna create just some fill underneath her nose and chin. Uh, before it was just a little bit too contrasty with the look we were going for. So I added this, this is just an easy, uh, simple way to get a nice bounce light, but also have control over it. So I don't have any lights from back there shining where I can use this just and place it there. So I actually had to put a strobe there as well. Uh, but the cool thing about that is it allows us to have uh, a lot more control than if we were just using it as just a reflector. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We'll shoot a little bit and I'll show you what each light is doing individually and then we'll show you the final image. For this first shot, I just have my key light on. That's that three foot octa up here. And what that's gonna do is that's just gonna get exposure for her and a little bit of that is gonna hit the background as well. So what I wanna to do to kind of give the background a little bit more of a dynamic look is I'm gonna throw on the background light, which is going to just kind of create that diagonal pattern down the back of that V-flat. With just these two lights, the image has just a little bit too much contrast for my taste. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this A-frame V-flat with a strobe bouncing into it, and that's just gonna reduce the shadows underneath her nose and chin, just kind of brighten up the overall look of the image. So from there, we can just start shooting and we can really dial in what we want. If we wanted to even, we could even just add a little gel on there. If we wanted to just throw a little bit of color in that top right corner. Uh, but for really what we're looking for, I think just kind of this neutral tone look looks really good. So let's go ahead and shoot just a little bit and then we'll show you the final image. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe and follow V Flat World. If you want to check out any more of my work, uh, check out Instagram at ReadyLightMedia or NextLevelWorkshops.com. Big thanks to Anna for helping us out today, and I'll see you next time.